In this video, I'm going to go over the most powerful image editing tools for making art for your video games. Adobe Photoshop is the most powerful image editing software, and it is an industry standard that's so commonly used that its name became a verb. It has lots of powerful editing tools, layers, filters, color adjustments, various non-destructive tools, flipbook animations, the ability to place 3D models in your image, as well as edit videos for some reason. It has a few different plans. The photography plan is probably the best deal, followed by the Creative Cloud All Apps plan, if you need three or more Adobe apps. GIMP is a popular free open source image editor. Its main disadvantages over other image editing software is a lack of non-destructive tools, as well as no timeline for flipbook animations and having a UI that is not quite as streamlined as other software. But if you aren't able to buy more powerful software, it's still a great tool. Krita is another free and open source software, but it's made specifically for digital paintings and is probably more powerful than Photoshop for painting with its crazy powerful brush engine and some awesome tools for game devs such as a wraparound mode by pressing W that will allow you to paint tileable images much easier than other software, and a filter to convert height maps to normal maps to be used in 3D games. It lacks some important tools for editing images that have already been made, so I recommend getting another one of these software to switch between depending on what you're working on. There are some other programs more orientated to painting that I don't think are as good for creating game assets, but could be good for painting concept or promotional art. Those include Autodesk Sketchbook, Fire Alpaca, Metabang Paint, Paint Tool Sci, Clip Studio Paint, and there's a lot more. Photop.com is a Photoshop clone in your browser. It's surprisingly powerful, but lacks some advanced Photoshop features and probably won't perform as good as a desktop app. Great for when you're working on a computer that doesn't have one of the other software installed. Affinity Photo is Photoshop's strongest competitor. It has almost all of Photoshop's photo editing tools, minus the 3D animation and video editing ones. There's some places here and there where it needs a bit more polish, and somewhere it's actually more polished. It's a pretty new program, unlike Photoshop, and it's being updated pretty quickly, so it should catch up where it lags fairly quickly. Also, unlike Photoshop, it doesn't make you pay for it every month, just a one-time payment which will get you a couple of years of upgrades, and then you can continue using that out-of-date version until you feel like upgrading which is a lot more consumer friendly. If you're already an experienced Photoshop user, you can check out a trial to see if it holds up to your standards. If it fails, you should probably just stick to Photoshop until it catches up. Another tool that doesn't really fit here, but you should probably know about is PureRef, which is a program to help you view and organize your reference images. Do you have a favorite image editing program? Please let me know in the comments and like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching.